Okay, so this is Merrydown Vintage Medium Cider. The last time I had this was way back in 1991. And uh, the label, at least, is, uh, has changed a lot since then. It never used to look like this back then. Uh, I remember, like... I can't remember what the label was like on the front, but I remember on this bit, it had, like, tin foil around it. Um, I don't think it's going to taste any different, because it, said on the, it says on the back... Well, I'll, I'll read it out to you. On the back, it says... Uh, On the back it says, uh, it's 1946, a 300 year old apple press borrowed from a local farmer, gorgeous eating apples and a little Sussex sparkle. A unique recipe that's remained unchanged, why would you, ever since. One sip, many an Owen grin explained. Not really sure what that's supposed to mean. And uh, the volume is 7.5% and the bottle is 750 millilitres. So this should taste exactly the same as how it tasted when I uh, when I last had it back in 1991. And uh, yeah, it says uh, delightfully delicious, trusted makers since 1946, and it says uh, vintage 2013. So uh, yeah, let's open up the bottle and give it a try. So it doesn't look like it's that carbonated really, there's not that many bubbles in the glass. Um, it's a nice uh, piss yellow colour, as you'd expect with cider. Kind of, kind of does seem to have a little bit of a green tinge to it. Um, but yeah, let's see what it smells like. The smell is very mild, it's like you can, you can, the only thing you can smell is apple and you can barely smell it. So let's see what it tastes like. That's really nice, it's got a really distinctive flavour. Um, I've had a lot of different ciders and uh, this tastes way different from most of the ciders that I've had. It seems to have like a really strong alcoholic taste even though um, the alcohol volume isn't really that strong, it's just 7.5. I mean 7.5 it's kind of strong but it tastes as though the the volume is, is a lot more higher than that. Um, it's quite sweet. I think maybe it has a little bit of a sourness to it. Yeah, I think there's a little little bit of a sourness there, slash tanginess, which I like. But um, yeah, definitely a nice cider. Um, would I recommend it? I'm not really sure because even, even though it tastes nice, it is a bit pricey. It's almost three pound for a. Uh, I think this is a one litre bottle. It's uh, 750 milliliters. So like after you've poured out a pint glass, that's how much you can have left in the bottle, which isn't that much. So it's a bit pricey, but if you're not strapped for cash, I'd, uh, I'd definitely recommend it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.